Kia ora Year Zero and Year Ones. Yesterday was the 13th of September and it was Roald Dahl uh, Day. Now Roald Dahl is an author and he was one of my favourite authors when I was a little girl. So at home on the bookshelf I found one of my Roald Dahl favourite chapter books that I used to read over and over again when I was a little girl called Matilda. So I thought today I could read to you a paragraph from my favourite book and then I'm going to give you some follow-on activities from the paragraph I read you. So I'm not going to read you the whole book. A paragraph is ooh, probably a group of maybe five to six sentences put together. And I had a look through this book and it brought back lots and lots of memories for me. Um, he was an amazing author. He wrote some amazing books and I loved the words he used. I loved how it made me picture myself in the story. They were really, really exciting. But the reason I loved this book the most, called Matilda, was because it was all about a little girl who loved to read. And we all are practicing and learning how to read right now, aren't we? So this was something that really, really inspired me to keep reading because I wanted to be just like this little girl, Matilda. So I'm going to turn to a section of the book and I'm going to read it to you. And after I read it to you, I've got some questions and some things that you can go away and do. Okay, so here I go. Matilda's brother Michael was a perfectly normal boy, but the sister, as I said, was something to make your eyes pop. By the age of one and a half, her speech was perfect, and she knew as many words as most grown-ups. The parents, instead of applauding her, called her a noisy chatterbox and told her sharply that small girls should be seen and not heard. By the time she was three, Matilda had taught herself to read by studying newspapers and magazines that lay around the house. At the age of four, she could read fast and well, and she naturally began hankering after books. The only book in the whole of this enlightened household was something called Easy Cooking, belonging to her mother. And when she had read this from cover to cover, and learned all the recipes by heart, she decided she wanted something more interesting. I'm going to stop there. So that's my paragraph. Now, some follow-on activities for you to do. I mentioned three different ages that Matilda was in that paragraph. And for each of those three ages, she was able to do something extraordinary or something amazing. So I want you to think back and see if you can remember what those three ages were that I read in that paragraph. So on your piece of paper, you're going to, at the very top, you're going to write the name of the main character of the story. So think carefully. Remember, it's the, also the name of the book, so that's a little clue. So you're going to write that down. Remember, when you're writing someone's name, what does the first letter need to be? So after you've written the character's name, the main character's name, I want you to see if you can remember the three ages that I mentioned in that paragraph and see if you can remember what she was able to do at each of those ages. Okay, you might have to watch the video again of me reading. Once you've done that, I want you to listen to the very last sentence again. Here I'm going to read it for you one more time. The last sentence said quite a long sentence. It said, the only book in the whole of this enlightened household was something called Easy Cooking belonging to her mother. And when she had read this from cover to cover and had learned all the recipes by heart, she decided she wanted something more interesting. I want you to write what you think is going to happen next in the story. Get your mum or dad to take a photo and send it to me. I can't wait to see what you think is going to happen next in the story of Matilda. I hope you have enjoyed listening along to my favourite book when I was a little girl. Kakite anō.